Well, one thing is certain about Arkansas weather. If you don't like the way it is, wait around a few days and it'll change. Tuesday, April 2nd, it's 2 p.m. and we're barely over 40 degrees. So it's too cold to plant and uh, cold weather coming in tonight too. Supposed to get down 32, 34 degrees, something like that. Why don't we go out to my dad's place down south of Fort Smith, Reaganite Senior, and see what he's up to. I think he's got something that might take care of these kind of situations. What in the world have you got going on over here? Well, I've been watching these videos on uh, YouTube. Yeah. And I like the concept that these guys have of putting their garden beds with a cover over them and I don't want mine to be naked. What I did is I took some three-quarter PVC, cut it about ten and two, ripped it on my table saw, and uh, that way when I put my sheathing over this concept, this contraption that I'm building here, <laughs> when I come down to the sides I can snap it, pull my my plastic in and then snap it in place like so and what happens is that locks it in place and when I get ready to take it back out all I gotta do is pop it off and of course it's going to be in long lengths and we'll show you here in just a little bit how this is going to work out but this idea is not an original to me I got it off of YouTube thank you and uh, it seems to be working pretty good. We're just going to improve on it a little bit, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Add our own thoughts to it. That's and a great thing about the gardening community on oh, YouTube, yeah. though, is you get all kinds of great ideas. Exactly. And, uh, you bounce stuff off one another, and, and you improve. Well, it's just like our, our comments. you get better. The people that comment on, on uh, things that we do help us to better understand what we're doing and to help you in the future. With all of us working together, we can be very successful at this. It looks like instead of using the white PVC, you're using gray. Why is that? Well, uh, I don't know this for a fact, but I've been told that the, the gray won't deteriorate as quick as the white. But now I do know that dark colors draw more heat than white. But because of the pigment in this, uh, the white, uh, it's it doesn't last as long as as this gray conduit type PVC. Yeah, this is like a, a gray electrical conduit, right? Yes, and I like it. It looks good. How'd you get that bend up at the uh, crown there? This is uh, let me pop this off here and show you. Well, that just comes off real easy. Yeah, it? just that's what I'm saying. It just snaps out when you get ready to quit gardening for the season or. Um, if you're ready to open your beds up to the to the weather every day, all you gotta do is pop it off, hang it up. Everything is it's not glued; it's just put together. But what I did, what I did, 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 did is uh, I went to Ace Hardware and I got me a 90 PVC 90. And what I did is found the center of my garden bed. This block of wood represents the outside edge of my garden bed. This one on this side represents the outside of my garden bed. It's raining. I can't get out there. I know my dimensions. So I, I went from here to here, got the center point, started with my 90, added a coupler, on each one. Now I had to get my distance to the edge and I had bed. it's trial and error. But on my garden beds the outside width this was 18 inches to get to the point I needed. And y'all notice how simple that that goes together. And the reason I laid it out like this is so that this edge would be at the edge of my garden bed. Same over here.
Now with it in that position, I added these, these cut down pieces of three quarter so that the half inch would snap into place. And I'll show you that right now. Now, that's in place. Now, if this is not tall enough, we went another step. Now, what I'm going to do is, if this represents the base of my garden bed, or your soil, maybe. my soil, looking at 23 inches. At the crown. At, at the base of this. You're probably going to have plants in this area, though, right? That's what I'm, yes, exactly. And so you, you don't have so that much space there. What we can do is pop this off and add whatever length that you want right here. And what that'll do is extend your height of your whatever this is we're going to call it. <laughs> Our convertible uh, raised bed garden. <laughs> hey, that sounds good. Now, once you get, you're going to have to back your camera up to take a look at this. Wow, that's a lot taller. Check that out. Now, this is 18 inches. So, not only is it convertible, it's raisable. It's raisable, yeah. <laughs> All right, we went from 23 inches to 40 inches. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but no, because I'm facing me, but that gives you plenty. Now, another thing, if you want it four feet tall, cut that mammy jammy where it's four feet tall. If you want it six feet tall, I'm just telling you, you can be very flexible with this. Don't glue these joints together. That way you can take them apart Add whatever you need to. If you want to keep it going, that's fine. You can put shade cloth over this during the hot summer. Shade your plants. In my case, I grow seven foot maters. And it's going to be hard for me to do that, but I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> this, is, this is a first for me. Yeah. And thanks to my delightful son. Delightful. Ooh. Yeah, well, hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought, man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, anyway, getting back to what I was talking about. If you, uh, whatever size you want, if you just need it 6 inches, 12 inches, whatever. Yeah. You've got the flexibility to do this with. But, yeah, you could start off in early spring with just this section, and then, you know, you could pop in another section. Whatever. I mean, and if your beds are smaller width-wise... Shorten this piece right here. Well, that's that's something I was going to bring up to you. Pop that side off there. It comes off real easy. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention. Here. These uh, these are not 90s right here. They're not. No. They're 45. These are 45s. Okay, so so and they're pre-cut. So your piece coming out here is a 45. Yeah. Right. You got a 90 up here. Yes. But let's say somebody you know doesn't want to mess with making a jig here. Couldn't you just pop your 45 in at the edge of your bed, have your 90 uh, centered, get your distance, and then make all of them the same off of this one? Yeah, you can do that. However, you're prone to mistakes when you do that mm -hmm. because you don't have it laid out in such a manner that will help you guide it through the process. Understand? Mm -hmm. I didn't think it did. <laughs> Had that deer in the headlight look. <laughs> the process. The process. And the process is, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I don't think he understands the process. No, no, the process is, is getting it to work. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on the blooper reel here. Boom. <laughs> like Alan on the Two and a Half Men. <laughs> Uh, uh, All right, so you didn't cut this piece down. No, I, it, it comes pre. Uh, did pre you cut? cut. The, did you cut the forty-five? No. Piece? no. So the forty-five and the ninety d does not get cut down. No. This is what they look like from the store right here. There's your ninety. There's your ninety. 
Here's your 45. There's the 45. Right. They come the exact same length from the store. All right, so there's your difference. So you could start off with your, go ahead and make your uh, side clips, put your 45 in, put a coupler on. Yep. There's a coupler mm -hmm. here, up high, and down low here. Put your coupler on, bring your 90 up, get your distance, and make your cuts. Mm -hmm. You could yeah, do that. You could do that, yeah. It might not be as... I would, if I did that, I would start out on both sides. Mm -hmm. I made a mark on this 45, mm -hmm. two inches up. And what that does gives me a guide to put this in the right spot. On both sides. On both sides. That way I've got the right distance. It's clearing my bed, mm -hmm. and it's making the trip north up to the... That didn't sound right, did it? <laughs> Lord have mercy. What's wrong with you, boy? Upwards. Up, going up, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Lordy, Lordy. These people going to think we're so backwards. Well, we are from Arkansas. Yeah, but I got shoes on. Anyway, here's my other mark over here. Just pop it in. You got plenty of clearance. And if you want to extend it up, you just... Cut you a couple of pieces, put a couple on it, up she goes. Not bad at all. Now, yeah. Now, a lot of people, they spend a lot of money on, like, wiggle wire. Wiggle wire, yeah. For greenhouses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's hard to work with. We've got something, and I want to give a shout-out to LDS Prepper because we got the idea from him. Oh, I guarantee you. That, that's it. That's the guy. This is half inch pipe here. We took three quarter inch and ripped it in a table saw. And we came up with this. It pops right in. It holds it nice and secure. The sweet thing about this is that you can take your sheeting, run it over, and then secure it just like that both along your pipe, on the edges, and down here at the base. All right, so you got a run going off on the side of your bed. You want to secure that sheeting to it and make it uh, fairly uh, tight to where the wind won't mess with it or anything like that. You take your three-quarter piece of uh, grabber stock. We'll call this the grabber stock. You take your pipe, lay your sheeting across it, Boom. It's nice and secure. So now we're going to see just how difficult it is to put one of these together by doing a little test bed here. We're going to set it up on the ends. We're going to do one in the middle. And then we'll put the sheeting on. And I recommend that you do is when you, if you rip this down to create your uh, grabbing stock, countersink some holes in there for your wood screws. That way, your screw head is actually going to go in there nice and flush. You don't want it sticking out and pushing on your PVC. So make sure that you do the countersinking. It takes a little bit of extra time, but it's well worth it. And by doing the countersinking, this is what you're going to wind up with. The pipe itself is going to be nice and flush, and we'll be able to fit in there nice and snug. <laughs> Just like that. And it's going to hold that sheeting really well. All right, so we need to cut out our extension pieces that it's going to raise it up mm -hmm. to the height that we want it outside. Now, the reason we're working inside today, as you saw at the beginning of the video, it is just nasty out there. It's like 39 degrees now and raining and, and just miserable outside. So a day like this, it's a good day to work in the shop.
That is all right now. Totally convertible. You can take it off. You can raise it. You can put shade cloth on it. You can put greenhouse sheeting over it. Extend and you were the length? Extend, yeah, that's what, make it taller. That's what yeah. that means. <laughs> but the nice thing is going to be the ability to raise the sides of it. Now, getting back into what we were talking about, as far as the sheeting goes, I mean, we can secure we can secure sheeting with these, uh, and you can make these any length you want. But our grabbing stock will go right over that and hold the sheeting on, and that'll stand up to some good wind too. He's built this little contraption right here out of PVC, and what he took a couple of large couplers, glued them together to make a, a handle, and what this thing will do is enable him to have roll-up side curtains if he got really tall with it, you know, he could roll it up. Um, and you'll just take a piece of pipe, wrap your uh, sheeting in the pipe and secure it to the pipe, and then when you let it down, the sheeting will go into this grabbing stock here, nice long piece that will go along the deal. What I would recommend that you do, though, is take you a two-before and cut it <coughs> to fill your gaps so that it can go into that and that this can go into the two before then and you can secure it that way. Now if you had a whole bunch of these hoops going down a long row like say, I don't know, a 32 foot bed, you might want to take you a little one by two furring strip and secure to the inside. That way, that way it's not going to hang on your sheeting on the outside, but secure it to the inside and run it down the entire length to give yourself lateral or, uh, stability there and uh, strength. Take some small pieces of the grabber stock, countersink you a single hole in it, get one by two furring strips, like I mentioned before, run the screw through the strip, and then take, you know, with, with measurements along your furring strip, put your grabbing stock on the strip and then just secure it that way along the run. Just an idea. Based on that idea, here's what I've come up with. I've got grabbers on the ends and in the middle here. Let's see if it'll work now. Wow, that is instant, instant structure and support. That is awesome there. If you had it tall enough, you could even uh, put a string in and run it down to your plants and grow them up, up the string if you had a big one. You know? Bobby does? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you did that last year on your bucket plants. Yeah, on the grow bags I did. Sure could. If you've already got a pre-existing bed, why couldn't you do the same thing we did with this base with like four by four posts. Yeah. yeah, you could take four by four posts and just run them long ways on the outside of your beds, whatever distance you want mm -hmm. on, from the walls to your beds. And you could have, you could literally have a walk-in greenhouse. This is just a small version of it. Because yeah. if you can do it on small scale, you can do it on a larger scale. Exactly. Yeah. I'm a yeah. You've had this in the garage a while, haven't you? Good stuff. <laughs> this will work for demonstration purposes, though. Maybe. Maybe. It's long enough. <laughs>
So what we went ahead and did is we put a couple of screws in here, just uh, countersinked and ran two screws into each post where it's going in just to secure it so that we would be able to get the sheeting on and pull it nice and tight without having our PVC falling out of the uh, retention system there. I got that end down there already capped with a little bitty piece there. And now we'll just do that. And then you could have you could have a couple of clips when you roll this up. Just pull the clips off and set them right down in there. And yeah, yeah. You just do that. Like this. Take a clip. Put it right here. Yeah. Or just a little uh, clamp. Yeah, you can do that right oh, there yeah. and hold it. Yeah. Look at that. They got some of them stored the set. <laughs> now, if we just had enough uh, sheeting to do the whole thing. Now, you wouldn't have to have roll-ups, roll-up signs. You could just do something like this and, and use the clamps like we showed you. Well, this is all the sheeting that we've got, so uh, hopefully this will be instructive enough for you. Uh, the end caps, or the ends themselves, are very simple. You just use more of the clips. Uh, you could make some, uh, you could do some gathering down at the bottom and just gather it in uh, and make your adjustments that way. Um, build you another one of the cross braces for this side, and then as you wrap this stuff around, you can actually use the cross braces to hold on to it. But that's it in a nutshell. Uh, Reaganite Senior and I hope that this has been instructive for you, helpful. It's uh, springtime. Everybody's itching to get grown. I'm just chomping at the bit. But the problem is the cold and the rain and the sogginess. Hopefully next week I can plant. But having something like this would be ideal. And this was entirely built today just for instructive purposes to help you out and give you some ideas and that's like we were talking about earlier that's one of the great things about YouTube is we can bounce ideas off of one another got a great gardening community with lots of good people and uh, everybody takes some ideas from other people and uses them in their garden and it makes us better gardeners folks I hope you have a great season we'll see you next time thanks for watching